Hey everybody, welcome back to the Super Retro Bros. I'm here with Flex Retro. How you doing? How you doing out there? Uh, we are just gonna do a follow-up to the last video about making a magic deck, and uh, this one is about playing magic with Tabletop Simulator, because it is the perfect solution for an online way to play Magic the Gathering with your friends. So, hop right into it! Go to multiplayer! Uh, one guy hosts, the other guy just does the server browser. I'm gonna make one called SRB Show, and the password is gonna be uh, Wing Dang Doodle. I imagine you know how to spell Wing Dang Doodle, right? Yeah, Wing Dang Doodle. All right, and there you are. So, all right. So here's how we do. In order for you both to be able to spawn in your decks, you gotta, if you're the host, click on your buddy and promote them, and then we can just uh, spawn our decks in here. So I'm gonna go first so that our decks don't fall on top of each other. Bloop! Let me get that out of here. Get my shide board over there. Get this mystery card over there. So then you load yours in. Alright. So of course, yeah, both of you, you just go to host and chest and saved objects if you did the thing before. Oh, I think I, think I saw that. Alright, so... Uh, so as the basic premise of, of how this works, how playing Magic on this game works, is this is not a Magic game, which means it's not going to do the phases for you. It's not going to calculate combat damage for you. It's up to you and your opponent to know how to play Magic already. And just as the name Tabletop Simulator should imply to you, uh, it's just, it's a game where it's just like you're sitting across the table with your buddy, and you're gonna play some magic. So, if you right. click and hold yeah, on, yeah, yeah. so if you, if you click and drag away from your deck, you, bloop, you pull a card off of it, or if you just click and hold, you pick up your whole deck, and you shake it to shuffle. And it's just the most fun thing ever. And you can see that we use slightly different images for our card backs, because mine has a, a grittier look, and, uh, and yours is uh, yeah. a little brighter. Um, Alright, anyway. Yeah, mine is just... If you, if you, I put in, like, magic card back, I think, and it's the, the first image. Yeah. I, I picked one that I thought back, looked boom. really good, but then I also had to extend the borders a little bit. Yeah! 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 Just do your so, do your pre-game Beyblade. Uh, so we're just playing the legacy game. Yeah, so we're gonna play a we're gonna so play a legacy are, game uh, here. So these are representations of decks that we actually own. That's that is, what I did. Yes, that is what I did as well. Um, I mean, I ordered these cards and they are currently in the mail toward me. So. Okay, that's fine. I just mean like uh, I have other decks on here too. They're like four underground sea and stuff like that. Oh yeah, yeah. All right. Like that Tarmogoyf one, that four Tarmogoyf one. So let's say you want life counters, dice, that. that kind of thing. If you go to host and go to chest, you can find all kinds of goodies in here besides just loading your deck in. If you go to dice, for example, you can spawn in a couple D20s, a few D12s and D6s. I like to just have these available to me over here to the game, just like you do. And now for life counters... Here's, here's the first little tip that I want to show on how to do this for funsies. If you pick up your D20 and hold Alt-Shift, you can resize it with E and Q. And so if you want nice life counters, like those really cool, huge uh, uh, countdown D20s, you can basically get those by grabbing a D20, holding it, and doing Shift-Alt or Alt-Shift-E. And, uh, and boom! We've got our, we've got big, easy to read life counters. If you right click, you can color tint them a little differently. I'll be like a reddish color, and you can be, uh, you can stay purple if you want. And then, uh, the, the easy way to do this, you don't have to like pick it up and painstakingly try to turn it around or anything dumb thing like that. If you scroll over a, a die and you press a number, it will just go to that number. So like two zero will just turn it to twenty. Uh, you know, one nine will turn it to nineteen. And so on. Alright. 
So we've got our life counting dice. We've got some extra dice for whatever. Whoops, I grabbed your side. Whoa, oh boy. Let's just. Oh, oh. Uh, here, put that back. <laughs> uh, and then we've got Let's some extra dice little... for anything that we okay. might need over there. And then my other big piece of starting advice for you is uh, right up here. This is mandatory. Uh, this is pretty much the first thing you want to do. Go up to the top, rotation snap here, set that to 90 degrees. That way you can tap cards with Q and E. Don't leave it at 15 or your games will take three hours because you need to take three seconds every time you want to tap or untap a card. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm going to shuffle my deck a little bit more because it's fun. Okay. Uh, all right, how we... How are we doing this? Rolling the rolling the D twelve. Yeah. Alright. Two? A two. Alright. Uh, alright, alright, alright. Uh oh. Oh yeah, here it comes. It count when it rolls in? Yeah, seven. Alright, alright. I, I will play. Okay. Alright. So this what? is my main mamma jamma deck. That I would play at a tournament. Hmm. I am unsatisfied with my hand, and I am going to mulligan. Me too. I like your UFO technique UFO of, of shuffling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're also raising it too high for me to Beyblade you. That's because part part of the uh, UFO is to raise raise it higher. All right, sixer. Let's see what we got. Okay. All right. This looks more like it. All right. All right. Do you like to flip them all in there at once and then flip them all at the same time? I like to flip them one at a time because when I'm drawing cards in real life, I'm looking at them as I'm drawing them, and it's kind of like that, you know? It's like, ooh, what's next? What's next? What's next? All right, I'll keep this hand. All right, ready to go then? Yep. I am going to start us off with a Seat of the Synod. Okay. I play Ornithopter. Okay. I'm going to tap one. And pay two life to play Vault Scourge. Yep. And then okay. uh, I am going to pass to you. Alright, so I will drop a turn. Uh, for any future games that we play, by the way, because we are going to play more games on this channel, I think we should both record it so that when I edit it, I can make it flip to whoever yeah. was recording for their turn. I'm going to play an island and play Sensei's Divining Top. Oh, okay, so you actually built your deck in a different way that I did. You used a set editor, right? Uh, or you used, like, yep. a special program? Yeah, I used a set editor and then just uh, used the snip tool to snip out a little picture of the card on the set editor and then pasted that on into paint and made, like, a big sheet of all the cards. Cool. Instead of getting them off Gatherer, I got them off of... Yeah, Set editor. this way you can have this really cool looking divining top with the old card frame. That is super cool. You can have like lands too that say like basic land. Like my land says basic land. Oh, and, yeah, um, yeah. But it's like, and it's like all my cards have no reminder text. Yeah. Or flavor text. I, I do really like the no reminder text thing that you've done. Um, so yeah, I mean... The it, uh, tap blue to add... Island technically has reminder text. The island is the only card that or the basic lands do. Oh, they look weird with sure. nothing. Yeah. I well, I mean, I I like the uh, I like the new style. We've talked about that. I also really like your yeah. style too, though. Tap to add that to your mana pool. I mean, it's not really reminder text. That's the card's ability. Uh, it's like all islands can do that, so it's like kind of an implied thing. I suppose. Yeah. Like Urborg doesn't say tap to add black on it. Or if a card says, you know, Enchanted Land is an island, it doesn't say, with the ability, tap to add one blue right. to your mana pool. Yep. Yeah, I, I get so, it. So yeah, technically that's reminder text, but I put it on there. Well, it looks good. Your your deck looks really cool, just because you, you've 
you've put so much work and love into it. it anyway, is, uh, all right, all right. So you played top. That's right, fuzzy top, and then pass the turn. Okay, untap, upkeep, draft for turn. Boop. I will play a Vault of Whispers. Ooh, shh. Gonna tap one blue for thought cast. Okay. And oh boy, uh, what to do? Choices. I will swing one. Yep. Uh, no blocks. All right. I move up to eighteen. All right. One, one damage. All right. One damage. And pass to you. All right. Untap. It will draw for my turn. For everyone watching at home, the the deal with this uh, with this thing that I'm doing is if you hold the Alt key while you're over a card, it will uh, show right, it I'm to you real big planes. and nice. Also works for die, dice. Also works for dice. I mean to say. All right, I'll play a planes and just pass the turn. Okay. Whoop, whoop. Hmm. I am going to play uh, Glimmer Void. Okay. And swinging one. All right. Um. I'll. S and then I'll no. I'll no blocks. Okay. That goes through then. No blocks. And I yep. go up to twenty. Okay. Your move. Okay. All right. I'm gonna spin Sensei's top. So, I'm going to make a little hidden zone. Ah, uh, yes. So, for cards, uh so, so here's something. Let's talk about why uh let's talk about why Tabletop Simulator is better than any other magic game that I've played. Um firstly, just with making your own deck and having the trust with your opponent, you get to just make your own deck instead of having to worry about things like uh, you know, the cost on Magic the Gathering Online. Or worrying about like what magic uh, the the Steam games or whatever offer you. Like uh, no, you just make your own deck, and it's easy. Uh, otherwise, you can uh, get any card off something like Apprentice, but they don't have the nice art and stuff. So this has the best looking yeah. cards and deck building and all that. Uh, so that's really cool. The other thing is that with something like Apprentice, let's say you're using Sensei's Divining Top. By the way, your uh, your your Hidden Zone ate your deck over here. Really? Yeah. Let's put my deck into my Hidden Zone. Let me pull my deck out of my Hidden Zone. Ah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, there is in Tabletop Simulator a Hidden Zone where, uh, like, I drag this out and anything that I put in here, opponents cannot see. So if there is something that is, like you know, look at the top card of your library, but you're not supposed to reveal it, uh, you can do that. Um, now, you could do that with Apprentice, but what you couldn't do with Apprentice was rearrange the top three cards of your library with something like Sensei's right, Divining so Top. Untap and draw. Which you can do with Tabletop Simulator. Yeah, move on. Yeah. Carry on. All right. All right uh, Carry on, my play. wayward bro. Polluted Delta. Go ahead. Alright. Polluted Delta. Untap, upkeep, and draw. Hmm. Huh. I'm gonna play an island. Got, yep. Got the Ravnica Island, because it's dope as fuck. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And. Gosh, uh, I'm gonna swing one. Yep, I got a 17. Alright. I'm gonna go to, or I go to 21 with, uh, I'm gonna use this as like a single rollover on that, you know? Yep. And, uh, your move. You got like a Metroid health system going. Oh yeah, I got an energy tank. <laughs> I like that. Alright, I'm gonna spin the top. So look at my top three them back in any order. Yeah, the other nice thing for a hidden zone is like if you need to search your entire library for a land or what have you, you 
just drag it over to your hidden zone so that your opponent play... doesn't see you doing that. Enlightened Tutor. Enlightened yeah, I'm tutor. Gonna f I'm gonna fetch land in response to Enlightened Tutor. Okay. Ah, uh, okay, yep, yep. Because I didn't do it before, but I can do it in response. Yep. So, yeah, no response to fetch? No. Oh, did you just pull a card out? Yeah. Okay, that's one thing to keep in mind, is sometimes when someone pulls a card out of their hidden zone, it doesn't unhide for some reason. So, if they just pull it back in, pull it back out, there it is! Alright, you fetch uh, yeah, uh, Tundra. It's like super... Y Yellow. Like I didn't put I didn't put the reminder text on that one. Okay. But it's got something going on in the text box actually. It's not just a blue square. You know, I always thought that uh, the it, it was like a spiral in there. So I only. I think it would look kind of cool too if it if it said uh, tap to add blue or white. That might look kind of cool too. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Maybe I'll try it. The dark okay, so playing shard. that. Okay, okay, now this... Search your library for an artifact or enchantment card and reveal it! Shuffle your library, then put that card on top of it. Ooh, you got one one card sneaking out over there. You're grabbing and Rest in Peace. Requiaste in Pace. I, I don't actually know what it is in like, Italian, uh, but they say it the in White Assassin's Creed a bunch. As cool as... I don't know, it looks, it looks alright. looks alright. Just put that on top. Uh-huh. And then we'll spin the top at the end of your turn. Yeah. Wait. Yep. I'm, is this? Oh, okay. This is all at the end of my turn. I see what's going on. Yep, yep. I, f I forgot it was the end of my turn. You're grabbing with Enlightened Tutor and then spinning the top, huh? Yeah, I was talking about my uh, disdain for Enlightened... Oh, I don't know. Uh, I don't really like Enlightened Tutor. I have one in this deck, but yeah. I mean, you don't really like gets, any fetch cards that put it on top of your library, because it slows you down. Yeah, yeah. That's untap. I'll draw. But in this deck, I will play one Enlightened Tutor. But if I have to, if I want to add something, the first card to go is that one Enlightened Tutor. All right, so I'll play an island. And I will play. Wait, I can tap like this. I'll play Rest in Peace. Uh, I'm gonna tap one blue and play Spell Snare. Spell Snare. Alright, I'm gonna draw top. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna play. Counterspell? Oh, are we gonna do? Are we gonna do this? I'm gonna play yeah, spell, no spell snare. snare. <laughs> All right. I mean, okay. yep, yep. That might not uh, have been super great for me to do, but I'm just not sure. I don't know. I don't know what your deck is gonna do, so I'm not really sure what that rest in peace is really there for. You know what I'm saying? You know it what I'm might be a clutch piece of a combo. Right, right. I do, I enlightened tutored for it. You I wanted it that bad. You you topped for counterspell. Yeah, you enlightened tutored. Then you topped for counterspell to stop my spell I snare. Like that I got countered. So I I think uh, yeah yeah. I wa I wasted my draw for that. I think it was a good move for me to squander two spell snares for it. Uh, anyway, it's really squandering. I was just gonna say it's that too. Good... All right. Anyway, I'm going all right, all right. to uh, tap a uh, black, a uh, blue, and a blue, and play okay. Master of Ethereum. Okay. Okay. Then I'm gonna be swinging one, a two, a three for combat. Yep. Okay. Okay. So and I go to twenty-three. Your move. Okay. Alright, uh, redraw. I'm gonna play Sensei's Divining Top. Yep. Go ahead. Alright, whoa, I slowed you down a lot. 
Draw oh, for yeah. turn. All right. The board would be the same if Press and Peace had resolved, though. The board would be, but be I, I'd be scared. I'm going to play Ornithopter. Yep. And then I'm going to swing for a 1, a 2, 3, and then Master of Ethereum is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. So I'll swing for 6 as well. All right. I'm gonna so that's, that's 9 total. I'm going to spin the top. Uh -huh. And in response, I'm going to draw with the top. Okay. All right, so draw for turn. Uh, or for the top, you mean? For the top, yeah. I'll reveal... Uh, so this is the card I drew. I'll reveal Terminus. Wait, what, why are you revealing a card? Because I'm drawing it with top. Yeah, you don't have to reveal it. Okay, mi uh, Miracle is like a triggered ability. It says... Uh, it's like, if you draw this as the first card you draw, you can reveal it. And then if you Hold reveal on. it, you can cast it for its miracle cost. Mir miracle? I took, mir what? I took the reminder text off. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. You took the reminder text so off. So miracle is, miracle is, uh, you can reveal it as you draw it if it's the first card you draw this turn. And if you do, you can cast it for its miracle cost. So it's like a replacement effect, I think, is how it works. Is a replacement effect is like replacing how you draw, you revealing it as you draw it. Okay. Uh, instead of just drawing it, and it puts a trigger on the stack, which is, um, you may cast it by paying us miracle cost. As an instant, also. I mean, yeah. it would have to be. I mean, it would have to be, but yes. uh, but still, that makes it even crazier. Um, okay, great. So this is just in the revealed zone right now because, it, uh, like, I drew it like that. So now there's a trigger. Mm -hmm. It just triggers this, and I'm still resolving top. All uh, right. So top goes on top. Uh huh. Uh, and now this trigger resolves. And all my I'm creatures gonna... go on the bottom of my well, library. Uh, I'm gonna yeah pay for it and then cast it. Yeah. So yeah. now I'm now I'm casting it. Okay. Yep yep yep. Yeah, it's it gets, it's kind of confusing. That's fine. Miracle. And and now your last thing resolves where you you spun the top. Right. <laughs> Okay, uh, so yeah, so it's your turn. Yep, I have nothing for second main phase. Pass to you. Alright, so I'll draw. Man, that would have been. Oh, I'm getting pissed about that fucking miracle terminus. I'm getting pissed about. It was that. a miracle. It, yeah, it was it, a fucking miracle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fuck. Uh, uh, I am going to tap uh, T to play cranial yep. plating. All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna play Force of Will. You're hard casting Force of Will, huh? Force of Will! Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, pass to you. Counterbalance. Counterbalance. I am going to pay a blue and spell snare counterbalance. Yep. Oh, that yeah, means I'm you had a two that's even better in your hand. Rest in peace. Okay, yep. Rest that's in that. Peace. Exile all cards from all graveyards. Yep. I'm going to turn mine sideways. Yep, that's what I did down here. Okay, uh, go ahead. Alright. I'm tapping, tapping. Let's see if a card or token would be in the graveyard anywhere. Exile it instead. Good thing yep. I don't uh, play Disciple of the Vault anymore. Alright, draw for turn. Uh, yeah. 
Ah, oh, oof, I had to slip that out so that it wouldn't flip this Vault of Whispers into my hand. All right. Um, <laughs> let's see. Yeah. Uh, oof, boy, boy. Okay, I'm going to attack with both my dudes. Uh, Battle Cry makes this guy a 2-1. A Baleful Strix. Okay. Yep, so go to 10. Alright, and then it is uh, your turn. Alright, I'm going to play Helm of Obedience. X and so tap. Target opponent. Yep. Get load of text on. Here we go. You can pay X and tap it. Target opponent puts cards from the top of his or her library into his or her graveyard until a creature card or X or X cards are put into the graveyard. Yep. Oh, I just got it. Okay. Yeah. I don't even need to read the rest because it doesn't. The rest of it doesn't matter because cards aren't going to go into a graveyard. Yep. So I'm gonna pay one and tap it and target you. So you have to. Put cards into your graveyard until a creature card or one card goes to your graveyard. All right, let me just. But with rest in peace. Pick my deck up and flip yep. it over here and just exile it. All right. And then I'll pass the turn. Okay. Fuck. Oh wait, so I have to stack this. Oh wait, what is this? Oh, if no, a creature I don't. card is put into a graveyard this way, oh no, no. Yeah, I don't have so. Yeah, it doesn't happen. So I can just do it again. Ooh. All right. Well, I lose now. I lost. I can't draw. Game. I got no cards here. Good, good, good game. That's right, rest in peace. Yeah, I, dude, I'm I'm glad I I'm glad I double spell snared earlier for that. Yeah. Uh, All right, so uh, we time can, uh, time for game two, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. Good game, sir. Good, good game. All right, so it is sideboard time, so we just use our hidden zones to uh, hide our side of the table while we use the search functions on our sideboards and our decks to make some adjustments. Switch. All right. Switch. Where did one of my cards go? Uh, is it this thing over here? Or is no. That... What the fuck is this? <laughs> it's my angel, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I shouldn't have looked, but I'm still glad I did. Also, uh, that thing I kept saying about your card face and how I blacked out the bottom, it's because of this. So if the card is in someone else's hand, bloop, it just has that black face. That is your 70th card slot that shows up. So Oh my god, there's a there's stack of two right you. there. That it was on, I found the other card. It was, it was on, in the bottom of a stack. Oh, I, funny. I was looking at one card. It was it's actually a stack of two cards. Didn't realize it. Yeah. Yeah! Uh, I gotcha. I gotcha! Let's see how his game of two goes. I'm gonna flip them all at once. Flip! Um, okay, it is time for game two! I'll keep two. Okay, uh, yeah, oh yeah, I'm keeping. And, let's see, let me, let me make a little plan here. Uh, and then, alright, so I'm gonna tap that and Fire Action Revoker for a black. Uh, tap Glimmer Void for a black. I'm going to play Fire Action Revoker. Uh, I knew you were gonna play that because you called this guy Fire Action Revoker. Did I? Oh, funny. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna tap that and Fire Action Revoker for a black. Let's go! 
Get his ass I like here. okay, so right, good. I uh, call it salt, if you will, but I, I, I think that Council's judgment is a stupid card. It's pretty stupid. I agree. It looks bad in the old frame, kind of too. That's I think weird. that that card is stupid. That's all I have to say it's about double that. Double white, double white for a three mana spell is pretty steep. But like, it's really good. You can just target. Progenitus. You can just vote for Progenitus with it. Right. It's really stupid. You can exile any non-land permanent. Any, anyone. Yeah. Doesn't matter what yeah. what the. All right. Anyway, uh, was that the end of your turn? Yeah. It's super dumb. Uh. Yep. Okay. I'm... I was looking. At, I had a bunch of different angel token ideas. I had like the cover of the movie Michael with John Travolta. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I passed to you. I didn't go with that one though. They had all these like precious, precious moment ones that like didn't fit right because they were the wrong. Oh right, I forgot size. about. Well, I mean, precious moments is a weird thing. I never really understood yeah. it. <laughs> Just like little statuettes. That that like b b parents biblical like theme. right. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that they were biblical themed specifically. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to activate him targeting you. Okay. So it exiles your library, and then you shuffle your hand into your library. So you'll cart your library will be four cards, and it'll be these four cards. Yep. So, yeah. And then I will pass the turn to you. Okay. Like, Chase the Mind Sculptor was it's such a dumb card where can you sit there and just, like, fill, like, fuck with your draws until it just wins by itself. It's like a one card. Like, I just play him and just take them all the way up. Oh, yeah. Just play, you know oh, what I mean? Like, oh, it's, it's nuts. So strong. The only thing is that it's like, if you decide to put a card on the bottom, if you get rid of one thing, you don't know what the next thing yeah. is. That's the only thing. Right. All right. Uh, yep, your move. Uh, Jace me. Oh, right, you can do that, too. If you wanted. Oh, I got that for you, don't worry. Alright, uh, go ahead. Your move. Alright. Go ahead. Oh, uh, Yo, I, I, oh, 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 no! Oh, no! Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, dude, fuck! Oh, uh, hey, man! You hit me with those table stompers, man! Yeah, fuck you and your table fucking stomp face. Face stomped by the table stompers. So, yeah, you can just sit back and play a friendly game of Magic and then flip the table. Yeah, so, yeah, this is uh, a fantastic game. I mean, again, 
The only thing is, uh, and, and this is not a bad thing, this is how I prefer it, is that this game does not do the rules for you. It doesn't calculate things for you. It doesn't remind you about triggered yeah. abilities. It doesn't know what's going you gotta on with go the cards. You got to go on the internet and look up whether or not equip is an activated ability. <laughs> so... That's right there for you to do. Yep. Uh, so yeah, you just got to play a game with your friends as if you're standing, as if you're sitting across the table. Just... Uh, you know, you could almost say that this is like, it's like a simulator of being at a tabletop yeah. with your friend. Um, but yeah, maybe so... Maybe you're in a church, who knows? Yeah, maybe you're in this 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 cathedral for some reason. Alright. What, what are you eating over there? I shouldn't have started eating immediately. <laughs> uh, honey roasted cashews. <laughs> All right. Well, that is Tabletop Simulator. Be uh, and and how it is. Uh, what I think, you know, the best online magic game around. So, thanks for joining us, guys. And uh, hey, if you guys are new to the channel from these ma little magic videos, let's just say Flex and I are gonna be doing some magic videos uh, soon. Uh, more magic videos, I mean. But also, we do all kinds yeah. of crazy fun crap for you. So, check That's out, right. yeah, check out the channel and check out the Twitch stream as well at twitch.tv slash SRB show, SRB like Super Retro Bros show. Ah. Yeah, that's, that's what the, yeah, that's what the SRB meant. That's what that means. Oh. It's all coming together. All right. Well, thanks for joining me, Flex. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for joining me, right anyone who watched. We'll see you guys next time. Yeah, take it easy.